Sydney, welcome back to Shot Talk, Rock and Roll Gallery's very own little TV channel. <laughs> so, in what, 73, you just happened to be in New Orleans because that's where you live, and Led Zeppelin happened to be there, and they had one of their very few rare parties, and you were the main photographer there. That's, how, what well, the, how'd you get that one? I, once again, I was, the, I was the rock and roll photographer. In New Orleans, I was the go-to guy, and through my connections, first with the promoters of the warehouse, I would meet uh, record company um, reps, and in this case, it was the Atlantic uh, rep who hired me to be at this party with Led Zeppelin. And not only was Led Zeppelin there, but all the big New Orleans R&B artists, you know, Professor Longhair, Ernie Cado, all the old guys, you know, the uh, from the 50s and 60s. And uh, Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant, and, and um, Jimmy Page loved those guys. They, they wanted to be engaged and, and, and talk to those guys face to face. So I've also got photos of that happening. Well, you've got photos of Jerry Greenberg, who was running a, a Atlantic at the time. He was a dear friend of, of the site and mine. And, and I remember giving him the picture of him, and I think Ahmet Erdogan, and, right. and who was the founder of Atlantic Records. You know, that, that image that you took years ago. And then you've got probably one of the most famous pictures of, of, of Peter Grant, Led Zeppelin's manager, with Ahmet. Yeah. You know, that, that's ever been seen. It's a bit inside baseball, but in the fabric of rock and roll, sure. those were the, they, they were the kingpins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I didn't necessarily knew who they were, but if somebody said, shoot pictures of those guys, shoot, you know, I was right on it, you know. And I, as I said before, I, I observe. I observe what's going on around me. And uh, if it looks like somebody is important, I'm going to shoot pictures of them. If, if they're interacting with somebody else, I'm going to shoot pictures of them. And uh, so I've got some of the big guys. One of the warmest ones that I can remember is the one with John Bonham leaning on the amp with the drink in his hand. Yeah. I just, he's just decadent right there. That's just quiet Bond. So, and he was observing while you were observing him. Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> he was observing while I was observing him. That's, that's a good way of putting it, yeah. Oh, you're lucky, very Thank lucky. You. A lot of people would love to have shot that. You know, they did, like I said, they didn't do a whole lot outside of stage and very little press, right. but that was one of those just off nights, and then you shot them the next night. Yeah. Because I remember some of those pictures were in like Cream or Circus right. the following month because you had to wait a month Yeah, yeah for yeah. things it, to come out. And right. then I guess they entrusted you enough to bring you back for 1975 when Baton Rouge. I, yeah, I don't, I don't remember, quite frankly, who got me that gig other than the fact that by 75, once again, I was, I was ingrained as the guy to hire or the guy to call, you know. Uh, you didn't even have to hire me. As long as I had, you know, some stage access, I was good, you know, freelancing, you know. Uh, and I, I would, once I took the pictures, I'd send them off to Cream or Circus or Hit Parader and endear myself to, to those publications. Well, the ones that you got of Jimmy doing the bow and everything and the theremin from 75, you know, they were good enough for him to put in the Genesis Publications book of his first official book. Right. So... That speaks volumes right there. Yeah. Thank you for that one.